All right. Yeah, the Molesnagant 1891. Yeah. Um, like it's actually it's it's kind of like the car. It's it's honestly like the car about a 95k versus the car about a 95. Like there's almost no difference between the World War One and World War Two variants. Or like the Lee Enfield. Like really, actually, a lot of the small armors, the beginning of World War Two, are basically the same as World One. Okay, how do I not be the? Yeah, I don't. I think you, I think there. yeah, I think, I, want... I think you go to uh, yeah, I think you press your R two and you go to roll yeah. and then you. Okay. There we go. Now I'm now I'm switching it up. Right. Um, what's this guy? What does he have? Oh, well, that's what I'm playing as. Okay, guess you got sick of waiting. Yeah, this is more like a conquest kind of game. Um, but yeah, it just feels more fluid. I I'd say of the two of them, Verdun is the more historically accurate, but I got the sense this was... L there. It's still a simulation, but it's this is a little more just trying to make the feel different. Because on the ground, they're both going to be equally chaotic, right? Yeah. Um, like, you're not going to have this kind of maneuverability. Like, this, kind of, this level of maneuverability we're going to get is not historically accurate. Right? But at a you know, tactical level. Like, for brigades and armies, then, yeah, it would be this fluid. Does that make sense? Not really, but I'll go with you. Alright. Like, ba battle is very different on paper than it is in action. Right? From what I've read. If there's anything I've learned in the past decade of studying this, it's like they're... So, the, the kind of... The level of fluidity here wouldn't be the same as you'd actually have. Okay. Uh, where's our squad? Where are you spawning I have, him? Uh, I have no... I guess I'm going to spawn him by... I'm going to spawn him by the hill artillery because it's under pressure, yeah. so you may as well support it. Okay. Right, for the Romanovs. But Hell yeah. For now. For the Romanovs, for now. <laughs> That would change. More than once. Kind of like the Romanovs. <laughs> Which battle is this, did it say? Um, it did, but I missed Because if it's, if it's Galicia, I really hope it's first Galicia. I really hope it's first Galicia. I, I, don't, think, I don't think this game goes into the Russian Civil War. No, so. no, Galicia is not Civil War. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, maybe there was a civil war battle in Galicia. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Russian Civil War. Um, the uh, there were two battles of Galicia in fourteen and fifteen. Nineteen fourteen, it's uh, the Russians versus the uh, the Austrians, and the Russians just fucking just completely oh, trampled shit. them. No, we we got, we got friendly fire. I think I just took out our own guy. Oh shit. shit. Um, World War. Sorry, in nineteen fifteen. Um, the Austrians counterattack, like, supported by the Germans. When I say supported, I meant the Germans did most of the work and had command and control, and they just annihilated the Russians. They just drove them out of Galicia. And, and the two battles were, 1914 was Russian high command at its best, and Galicia was Tannenberg levels of bad command. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Like, there was no command and control. In 1915, kind of like at uh, oh fuck, uh, kind of like at uh, the Battle of Tannenberg, there was just no adequate command and control. So is it like this? A, oh man, fuck yeah, man, I got a trench. Trenches, nice. We got the hit. We took the we took the hill back briefly, but we lost it. So yeah, this one kind of more of a battlefield feel, you know? Well, like that's, that's the vibe I got out of it. That's okay though. The 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 the. the... The Eastern Front should feel more fluid. It wasn't a static. Well, that's what I mean. Like, but like, at, right. for for people fighting, that wouldn't really yeah. be the case, right? Well, that's yeah. Like that would be more for the uh, on a tactical level. Like battle would result in far greater gains. You wouldn't have to get over entrenchments. But if you if we were still in combat, you're not going to run in there like Call of Duty or like Battlefield, right? Mm. I'm getting fucking no. destroyed because I am playing it like Call of Duty. Um, but this one is more like it's unrealistic. Yeah. Your spawn abilities. It's unrealistic that aspect, but the combat is still very realistic. You know, one yeah. shot, one kill, slow fire oh, weapons, right. that kind of thing. But I like yeah, that, I because it differentiates it from Verdun. Yeah. Otherwise, why would I it, play it? It does, and you, you, like, sometimes we get, at the end of the day, 
it still has to be a game. Yeah, it's just it's just less historically accurate than Verdun, yeah. which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just like Verdun is an attempt to actually simulate actual trench combat, whereas this is more of an artistic interpretation of how to represent the fluidity of the Eastern theater, but mm -hmm. in a tactical game of 10 on 10 fighting, as opposed to, you know, 400,000 man armies, right? Fuck, I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, oh so. man, I'm getting killed out here. I'm spouting this history shit, but I'm getting just annihilated by these Huns. These shirtless, large Germans who keep their cameras on. <laughs> Actually, I think, I, I think we're fighting the Romanian. Oh, the, yeah, the, we the, might the, be. The, yeah, yeah, we're fighting the Romanian. Well, I mean, what are the Romanians but wannabe Germans, right? Yeah. Yo, I told my ex that. She was Romanian. Ah. That's why she's my ex. <laughs> That's not true, but it'd be funny if it was. Just want to be clear for all of our fans. That's not. Don't add that to the lore. It's not true. I'm lying. No, I'm, I'm adding that to the lore, man. That, 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 that's in the canon now. <laughs> Yeah, I probably shouldn't have, like, it's like just giving my girlfriend this weird racist lecture. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's like, that's the only kind of racism. Like, otherwise, I'm just totally anti-racist, anti-fascist, socialist, except when it comes to, like, East e Eastern European shit. Which is unfortunately very Nazi. Not that I say that out loud. That's very Nazi, what I'm describing. That's like peak Nazism. I'm going to stop this riff now. I'm done. All right, we took this position. I see they've actually... Oh my god, they've made the death cries horrible. Like, this one dude just, he's still crying. That's just my... horrific. They blew my face off. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not, they're not really holding back on that aspect. The, the, dude, this is like fucking World at War level shit right here. <laughs> but actually, like, World at War. You know, it's funny, you remember World at Wars being very, like, viciously violent, but looking back at it, it really wasn't. I think it's just like, World War II was such a cartoon in video games. World at War actually, just by attempting to yeah. do it seriously, but it really wasn't, like, compared to, like, later stuff, it really wasn't. Which surprised me, because I, rem I remember it being, like, so whoa, like, mind blowing. It's so horribly when you when, when compare by by. That's what I mean. Yeah, because they used games. to. They, that's what I mean. Because they yeah. they used to handle it. Well, in other gaming games too, handle World War Two, like you know, like a fucking cartoon, and World at War was the first one to like kind of not. But by today's standards, it's still kind of like okay, all the Germans look like ogres. Oh fuck! I am so glad we. Oh, I did not miss. I just lost ten points because that dude was uh, on my side, and he might have missed, but I didn't. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm doing an act. you know what, I might, I might get the fucking Iron Cross cross, I've killed like, several fucking Russians. Ha! I'm getting <laughs> fucking annihilated, I, I swear I hit that fucker. I'm getting fucking annihilated out here, man. I'm getting a lot of points for captures though, which is nice. Dude, I don't think I've gotten a single fucking point. Every time I spawn somewhere, I just get fucking... I ended up in somewhere, like, the whole game is... Like, the, the whole map looked like, I'm not supposed to be here. Like... <laughs> the whole map was what? <laughs> the whole map just looked like that. I'm just surrounded by enemies. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh... Uh, what's the, uh... Is, is, is artillery still awarded by bravery? Um, I don't know. I think that's only an offline thing. But, uh, I have called oh. command and control. I've told them that I've been very brave today. I saw a spider, and I just picked it right up, took it out of the trench. Uh, my candle went out before I got to sleep, but I was not afraid of the dark. I got through it. Uh, I heard a lot of weird noises when I was trying to go to bed, and I was okay with that. And, uh, you know, in the morning, I had to climb a ladder to get on the trench, and it was a big ladder, but I did it. So I think I've been brave enough for at least two shells and a gas shell. Like, I think at least some light artillery, you know? I think I've earned it. Oh, shit, I just took down another Russian. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna get kicked from the game. <laughs> yeah, you probably should stop killing Russians. I don't 
just mean to, man. It's just like everybody looks the same in in, in silhouette, man. Yeah, like, we kind of do. Just so fucking... <laughs> well, that's something I've learned from War of Rights as well. Like, like hold your fire till you know. Unfortunately, those motherfuckers yeah. always seem to know just a little sooner than us. No, I don't. You know what? I think I'm just gonna stay in this foxhole. <laughs> so I have to ask: Do you believe in God? I do not. I'm not. There we go. We found one. A little joke for all the true heads out there listening. Yeah. We currently have two people watching, so. One of them guy got the joke. How's it going, guys? Like, I don't know, am I supposed to spawn? I'm supposed to spawn in in the blue places, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I got another trophy, like I... Lost Battalion. We've done that badly. Oh, damn it, how did I choke up on that shot? No, what? you will die, yeah. Jerry. That was not me, the other guy got him. I mean, it's nice yeah. to see that he's dead and I'm not, but... Ugh. Yeah. Oh. They're getting goddamn fucking black field games, man. But the lost battalion was on the fucking western front. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know that. You know, Jimmy Darmody was with them, eh? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was, I thought no, was no, no. Yeah, Al Capone made that yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wonder that yeah, like, it was. Yeah. Did he ever actually make that claim? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, I could see the way he acted. I could see if he felt insecure. Yeah. Around a World War One vet, him saying that I can imagine it, yeah. but so we are getting uh, fucking destroyed out here. Like we are about to, we are gonna lose the battle <laughs> if we don't get this shit together now, Prano ish. Holy fuck! It's like that they're not all lost, man. They're uh... Holy uh, crap, I finally killed a German. All I needed was a Maxim machine gun. <laughs> the, uh, the famous, uh, the famous, uh, um, uh, author Ernest Hemingway was part of the Lost Battalion. Was he actually? Yep. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that once. Yeah, Mike, please, for all three of our guests, continue. <laughs> we now have yeah, more the... people watching than we have people talking, which is, that's a win for us. Now, Ooh. Sam gets here, that's gonna fuck it up. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, that's where. Uh, have you ever heard of his book, uh, Farewell to Arms? It's actually uh, about his, his experiences. Oh, yeah, Minnesota. you're right. I gotta read that. Yeah, I have heard of this. Now, but he, oh, he wasn't. Wasn't he also in World War II? No, like, he committed suicide before then, I do believe. Oh, okay, I'm just listening to because Because I know he, he claimed that he killed uh, German POWs, but I guess he's talking about World War I. He made that claim. I don't know if it's debated if he ever really did, but he claimed in some of his letters that he killed some POWs. Which is pretty fucked up. Wow, Lost yeah, Battalion hurts anyway. It's nuts. Yeah, in one of his letters he says um, he was, um, I think, from what I recall, he was interrogating. I guess at this point he had been moved to uh, maybe after the Lost Battalion. Uh, was, you know, lost. Oh, how's the game compared to Verdun? Asked Cool Blue. Is it better? It's different. Um, like, I mean, both of I us really you, liked I Verdun. Uh, I, I, I played this on PC as well, so I, I have not a lot, though, so I have a little bit. Oh, God, I'm bad at this. So I've got a little bit of input on it. Basically, this is like Battlefield meets Verdun. So the um, how we deploy is similar to uh, Battlefield. It's a little more fluid. Yeah. Uh, than Verdun, so it's a little faster paced. But the weapons are all one-hit kills. You're still firing historically accurate guns like your Mosin Nagant's uh, 1891s or your uh, Carbiner 98, uh, you know. Um, so you're still firing historically accurate weapons, so it's, there's a lot more precision to it. Um, but this this is a lot more similar to how Battlefield game plays. Um, which I think was meant to reflect that the Eastern Theater was a little bit more fluid and active. So if you played Verdun and you just kind of like, you're like, I really like the guns, I like the realism, I don't like how long it takes to go from place to place, like, I, don't, I don't like how difficult it is to take a trench, you'll probably enjoy this more. Um, if you just liked Verdun in general, you'll like this. If you hated Verdun because the weapons, then no, you're not going to like this. Well, you can't spawn in with, uh, 
I, I, I do believe there is a class that has a machine gun. Yeah, but it's like, it's not gonna be like Battlefield where you can I run around it. with it like it weighs two pounds. Like, it's... I killed a crow! I killed a crow! Yeah, me too! I, uh, we lost the match! I killed a crow! <laughs> yeah, I stabbed, the, the, I stabbed him in the throat! Yeah, cool blue. This 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 is a little this is a little more fast paced in terms of gameplay fluidity. Um, but everything else was the same. So the weapons are still cumbersome, which are supposed to be because it's God, I'm getting destroyed. Um, the weapons are still cumbersome. Uh, you're still running at a normal speed. It's still otherwise a simulation. It's just Actually, the spawn ins are a little more. It might just be me. I, I I find the weapons even in Verdun. I found the weapons played better than they did in Battlefield because they're not as floaty. Like it takes a bit of getting used to, but like they're they're they're, they're more on the mark. Oh, I, I, I like these more. guns way more than the Battlefield games guns. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, even though I'm one, getting my ass kicked. Yeah, that's why that, that's one of the things I still think that uh, Call of Duty has over them is for, maybe it's just me, but I always felt that that, that the combat in, in Battlefield has a, a very good thing. The guns are floaty, I agree with you. They don't, yeah. they don't have the report. Yeah. Okay, that must have been a team kill. That guy, I swear that was a Russian. Anyway, yeah, uh, cool blue. Um, if, if you played for dumb, but you just wish that you weren't attacking the same trench over and over, which personally I really liked, and <clears throat> you know, my, my fellow well, Mike Assigny really yeah. liked. Yeah, um, some maps you have four trenches with that. Yeah, but you didn't oh, always shit. pull it off. <laughs> oh, fuck, artillery. Yeah, um, just like the real war. <laughs> exactly, but what he's saying is he found Verdun a bit slow. Yeah. This is a little faster. Um, <laughs> personally, I loved Verdun, but this is a nice change of pace. Like, it's it's, it's yeah. not the same. Yeah, this is um, but I'm not going to call one better, yeah. because I don't think one of them is better than the other. Just different. Which they should be, because otherwise, why the hell would you buy it? I mean, actually, in all fairness, I'd probably pay just to play as the Russians, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's way more realistic than Battlefield. It's much more realistic in terms of uh, how the guns work, how, what you can do. It's just not cartoony. It's just, they, what's unrealistic is the spawning, and that's more Battlefield-esque, and that just, you know, keeps the things moving. Okay, I just got a trophy earned, Frostbite. I know that's because it's, I know that's because it's wintry map, but... Considering how much they took from Battlefield's design here, I want to imagine that was also a little joke. Why not, man? Fucking Battlefield ripped them off and fucking Oh, for I know! I one. know! <laughs> Battlefield 1 ripped off an entire game mode! The best one they had was ripped straight from Verdun! Shamelessly! <laughs> so I got two kills, and I had, let's not talk about it, number of deaths. Ooh, oh, no one wants to go to the Carpathians. That's uh, fine, we'll go to wherever the fuck has Who doesn't is. want to be an Italian just freezing his nuts off? Just freezing them off. Just Dude, you know what fucking, no more. You know what fucking you know what fucking map map should have been in here or Battlefield One? I can't believe even, even I thought even Battlefield One would would have would have loved it, man. The fucking the fucking charge of the dead should have been fucking in this game. That'd have been cool. Fucking half dead fucking Russians just refused to leave their fucking post. What was it? They suffered a gas attack, wasn't it? And they're all just like fucking like half fucking dead, but they're like, fuck it, drink vodka, don't retreat. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, it's actually, I've actually, yeah. I've tried to find information, and honestly, there's not a lot, because it was actually quite a small engagement. Yeah. Um, it, there's enough information to confirm it did happen. The yeah. details are hard to, and the problem is, there's not a lot of perspectives from the Russians on this one, because they didn't really survive. Um, but basically, from what little I've been able to glean, um, what essentially happened was, it was um, a couple companies of Russian soldiers, the Germans gassed the hell out of them, and somebody, just, somebody convinced them, fuck it, let's just roll with it. Um, and when they charged, they weren't like half dead, but they looked it. They were bleeding yeah. from the eyes and mouth. They were pale. They were in the process of dying, and some of them died like mid-charge. So the Germans were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> because usually that is just not how people responded to the you know experience of being gassed. Um, so it freaked the Germans out so much that the Germans actually fell back, despite outnumbering these men radically and having the advantage of, you know, not being in the middle of dying, which <laughs> militarily is a... Not even militarily. That's a big advantage no matter what you're doing. Like, I, you, you, you could be having, like, a fucking Beyblade contest. If you're not dying, you have an advantage. <laughs> uh, but... 
Yeah, that being said, I think putting that in a video game would border on tasteless. And I just, I don't think any video game, especially with the immaturity of gaming culture, I don't think any video game would possibly handle that properly. Because <laughs> that was awful. Like, it sounds like badass, and it's extraordinary, but it's also truly horrifying to think, you know? So, I like how one guy left when I said that, like, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it, it's hard. <laughs> Which it can be. It really can be. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to see a video game try to handle that. Like, yeah, there are some things, you know? I don't know, man. I think it's just that, uh, you know, the wannabe fucking filmmaker in me, man. It's just like, that is some badass fucking mm. imagery in my head. Right I'm there. amazed there isn't a film about it. <laughs> you know what I wish was in this hand battle for one? We talked about it before. We're losing people again. We got to four, and now people are like, this sucks. Um, you know what would be awesome to see? And what's that? Uh, we talked about this before, but the Women's Battalion of Death. Yeah. That would be so fucking cool to have a level where it's like, yeah, we just swapped out all the... It'd be expensive for these guys because they'd have to actually hire different, you know, voice actors, but you only need a few. Swap out the pounds for ladies and then bam, you can have... Because <clears throat> I forget which battle it is, but the other was a battle in 1916 where the Women's First Battalion of Death just were like, fuck it, and gave the Germans fits. The yeah, Second that, Battalion of like, Death never actually remember? saw combat. Yeah. Not Remember to the Civil when War. Dice hi hyped it all up that they were going to be in fucking Battlefield One, and then all they really, then all they really gave you was like, oh, your 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 your, your sniper is a female avatar. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's you know, you the one that you see the least, yeah. because <laughs> if you see one of them up close, they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like the the unit specifically encouraged to not be visible. Bull choice. Uh, I think mine crashed. I got I'm at back in the main menu. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm loading back to the main menu. I don't know what happened. I'm loading back to the main menu. Right, I mean, even right, if it dude. did crash, like, I gotta say, this is still a way better launch than Verdun. Like, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's... <laughs> For the first, like, a week, it was just, oh. like, basic, basically all you could play was fucking Frontline. And it, I mean, and it frontline, freaking though. sucked because the game is so good, but it's just, like, you know, people on console who hadn't the chance to play it, you know, they didn't... They didn't have any other thing to judge it by. All they had to judge it by was a complete catastrophic launch. So who can blame them for thinking poorly of it? Yeah. All right. I wonder how I join you. Um, well, oh, okay. Now we're getting numbers. Um, where are you guys fighting again? Not the car. Uh, Plasm. I don't fortress. Know. The I'm fortress. Just say the fortress. All I, okay, I don't know. All I know is I'm, I'm wearing fucking trophies. I'm right in center here, man. Fuck. Okay. I'm going to join it. I don't know how to like. Yeah. No, you're right. There are a lot. Oh man, the I little... still, I still, I still have in my brain hasn't <clears throat> quite grasped the actual game yet. Right now, I'm still running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Shooting uh, fucking I plan, I plan to do that for a long time because I'm really shitty at video games. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna like that's just officially like, uh, speaking. That's why though I'm gonna be bad at it because I'm yeah. just gonna do that for a long time. Yeah, like I haven't figured out like how like like exactly how we're supposed to like fucking like group up and actually like fucking like take a point. Yeah, and, be smart. Well, it's kind of like it's war. It's like it's like War of Rights. Like we're running around like Call of Duty, and that's where we're getting our asses kicked. You can't play it that way. I really hope War of Rights comes to. They they finally mentioned the possibility because <clears throat> they're they're building a, a new. You know you know War of Rights, right? Yeah. 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 They're building a new platform for it. It's almost done. And amongst the other benefits they mentioned is we can finally look into porting this to consoles. It's like oh man, the day that comes out, oh man. Because as much as I enjoy it on PC, if, if, PS, if PS4 can get the same kind of players, I'll jump to PS4 to play it. And also, you you better get it. <laughs> when it comes out. Like, you, you better get it. Alright, All right, man. Hmm? I have no idea what side I'm on, or... Oh, nice! What, what do you know? Okay, perfect. We're in the same company. 55th uh, Podolia Infantry Regiment. Great. All right, I'm going to spawn on you guys. If it gives me the option, which it's... Now I got it. Hey, guys. For the Romanovs, I think. What year is it? Yo, what year is it? Um, I, I, I think we're pro. I think we're pre-70. Oh, or maybe also, we might be Polish. 
for whoever the hell the Polish were fighting for. I don't know enough about the Great War to the Eastern Front to know that, to be honest. Is Poland even Poland yet? Oh no, it's not. No, no, it's not. It's part of the it's part of the Russian Empire. No, it became it. It, it was well, I mean, Poland. Like Poland exists as a nationality at this point. Um, like it was actually Napoleon that first recognized them legally in the modern era. Partly because, and I'm not kidding about this, uh, their duchess was hot as hell. Um, I, I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. That was a part of it. Um, but uh, he did, uh, a lot of people died because he was horny for her. And Josephine was just not responding to his texts. Um, so that's how history works, folks. Um... It's such Holy a cool, shit, awesome thing. You could get a sword. Somebody just killed me with a sword. You know what? I just like to kill somebody at this point, but that is awesome. Man, I'm, I'm getting fucking annihilated. I swear I was better than ever done than this. Oh, I just gotta stop being nervous and just start, like, taking Dude. my time and aiming. Dude, it's, it's day one, man. We're allowed to be fucking Yeah, serious. but those guys are having day one as well, and they're kicking my yeah, ass. But, <laughs> yeah, but these could, yeah. these could be fucking, fucking PC. Oh, world. shit. Yeah, this is a crossplay enabled. Uh, I have no idea, but like these could, yeah. they also could just be people that liked it on PC and fucking bought it on here. I mean, I liked it on PC. I'm just bad at it on PC because I'm bad at the controllers. But that was the same problem with Verdun. Like, I liked it. I just would get destroyed because I just cannot play like this. Like, oh, I, I just can't get used to mouse I'm and keyboard. I'm under fucking heavy ass fucking machine gun fire, man. That sucks. I'm under uh, some guy named Hans. He won't stop shooting at me. <laughs> Eight millimeter, my ass. Hell yeah! Take that, Hans. Oh no. His best friend Fritz is here, and I'm a bad shot. Shit, fucking peanuts! Oh. <laughs> well, it worked until I realized five of his closest friends were right behind him, all with guns trained at me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, Napoleon was horny, so he made. Um, you know, Poland for a bit, and the Russians were like, no. So a a after the fall of. Uh, Napoleon, I believe Poland was added back oh, to right the uh, Romanov right dynasty. Nice. Um, and then at the close of World War I, um, originally, if it Man, had... You can't go prone at times, remember that. I know. I'm, 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 I'm crouched right now. Um, if, if the Whites had won the Civil War, Poland likely would have been returned to uh, part of the Russian Empire. But since the Reds won it, they were being nice as much territory as possible, so Poland was made into an independent country again. Which lasted for... You know... As long as the rest of it did. Oh, man. And then Poland got fucked again. Ah, shit! Forget I need to borrow some legs. Um, you know what? I actually, uh, have a leg I could lend you. I need a lung. Because my current lungs have some holes in them, shaped a little bit like a Model 1898 Carabiner, uh, bayonet. Just a bit, like that. Just a little bit. What's your, what's your accent? Oh, They're fuck. They're gonna execute me for cowardice, because I don't oh. know what your accent's supposed to go. <laughs> You're attacking too hard, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking coward! Fall yeah, retreat that, back yeah, to us in, like a man. In, in, in the context of a game, though, like like you have yeah. to have that fucking character yeah. stick to keep the, the players in work. Oh yeah, right? for sure. So. And also, I mean, realistically, it's because no matter how well you design a map, at the end of the day, there will be flanking routes that you can exploit. Yeah. In fact, sometimes a war of rights because you have like a twenty-second timer. You, if you have really, like, not-so-by-the-book officers, uh, what they'll do is they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll lead their men, they'll, they'll lead us into, like, a desertion area, because they know it's a good flanking route, get off one volley, and then get the fuck out of there. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It works sometimes, too. Just if you fuck it up, you might lose the entire, you know, regiment. Hmm? got another trophy wall hack, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, I'm at the hillside. I could really use support. Okay, I'm Especially because I am the shittiest I'm, player in the world. I'm, I'm actually nice that I have to see those that there, 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 there are some here. I thought this game was going to be devoid of them. 
It's gonna be what? Trench warfare. I said so glad to see some of them still here. I thought the game was gonna be devoid of uh, the trenches. Oh yeah, and, uh, and it wouldn't be because these fronts yeah. weren't. It's just they weren't they weren't dominated by yeah. one long line of trenches. It was, you know, interspersed battlefields. I wonder why that is. I think the uh, maybe. Maybe the Eastern Front at the beginning had the more predominance of machine guns, maybe? Like heavier, no. Heavier machine guns? I don't know. No, that's not it. The Ru the Germans, you know, sent, you know, the best of both, and the Russians were technologically way behind. Ah, oh, man, I love when I get blown up. Um... No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I was thinking maybe that, like, just like, just like the actual, like, like main mounted machine guns maybe the, uh, were more prominent on the, on, on the West. On the West, probably. yeah. Probably, Maybe nah, that's why we had to dig in. I don't quite think so. I, I see what you're getting at. I, I think it's probably more to do. If I take a guess, um, from what little I know, operations in the Eastern Theater, they were separate yeah. armies attacking separate points. Whereas in the Western Theater, you had basically five German armies moving in concert yeah. like core. So it's just this yeah. huge line of Jerry from fucking Germany to the coast, right? in this sweeping wave. Yeah. So when they get stopped, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all still in this perfect line. So what do they yeah. do? They all dig in. Yeah. And then what do you do yeah, after that? You try to outflank them. Well, you dig in to cover yeah. your flank and you keep digging and digging until, oh, well, we've, yeah. we're we back at the other yeah. end of the continent. Because yeah, my, my, my whole idea, or well, the, what, what, what I always thought or whatever was like, you know, obviously I'm probably wrong. It's like, you know, it's 1914, right? We're just out of the... You know, the, 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 the 19, everybody's trying to fight this as a 19th century war, and then the generals yeah. are like, they, they got a what now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a Line huge part of it. formation! Oh, what? They got the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that is a part of it. Um, but remember, it, the, the First World War on the East Western Theater is a mobile war yeah. up until the First Battle yeah. of the Mark. Yeah. Like, up until yeah, that point, it's a very mobile war. Is in October, right? The war starts in August. Yeah, like but for the first two. <laughs> but yeah, but that first two months, the Germans are taking a ridiculous amount of territory, and they're moving basically. I love how everyone's gone now. They're like, no. We do not want to hear this shit. This is boring. Yeah, we want to actually talk about, like, fucking legit shit. Yeah, because that's, that's when they, 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 they halted their push to the sea, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, their push was to Paris, yeah. right? They already reached the sea. Uh, like by Belgium, but their 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 the the whole swing was uh, their extreme right was going to take Paris, and the other uh, all of the other columns were meant to simply defend that flank. I mean that's a huge oversimplification of the Schlieffen plan, which was, in all honesty, kind of brilliant. The Schlieffen plan, um, and I can't remember the exact changes. I think in, I think uh, Mulki the uh, the lesser. I think he, um, he took, the, the, the criticism is he was so afraid of uh, a collapse of the center that he took a significant portion of troops from the extreme right, which was basically the smashing blow, and put them into the other divisions. <laughs> and the result of that was some historians would argue in the, would argue that, uh, in the future that the problem was Mulkey weakened the extreme right hook of the attack too much. Mm -hmm. So when it finally came down on the Marne, it failed. And if he had kept it strong, it could have pushed through. But that's, I don't think that's fair to Mulkey. I mean, like, you know, the Schlieffen plan was, in modern history, the most ambitious military plan, you know, in, in centuries, right? Like it could be compared to, it could be compared to the Carthaginians advance on Rome. Like, it was extraordinary. So, uh, it's hard to blame Mulkey for having trouble managing the biggest thing ever done <laughs> at that point, you know? I don't know, I, th I think Mulkey gets a hard rap. I kind of feel bad for Mulkey. Not Falkenhayn, though. Fuck Falkenhayn. I'm kidding. I don't actually have a lot of opinions about Erich von Falkenhayn. Oh, I certainly wasn't best squad mate. Holy shit. I don't even want to see the scoreboard. I hope this game doesn't track KDR. I'm fucked. <laughs> oh god, I did so badly. At least I got I a got... lot of capture points.
I got five kills and fourteen deaths. You died less than I did. I got, got I one. got one kill though. You're you're, you're 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 like five. You're like one to three. I was like literally one to ten. You know how you know how the rebels would say one southerner could lick ten Yankees. I'm one of the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> if all the Yankees were like me, the South would have won the war. Private Larry, Private Bo, Corporal Curly, you will take this position. <laughs> hey, I do believe there is a three studio. There fucking, is. There yeah, is, and it's fucking wonderful. There is, and it's fucking wonderful. Start to finish. Mm, so good. At, at one point, they try to put Curly in a gun. <laughs> just, to try to put a, just fantastic. It's honestly one of the better documentaries I've watched about the Civil War. To quote Abraham Lincoln, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. All right, Let's see so if I can actually Lugosian. kill a German. We I gotta say though, be, we could possibly be shot by Bella Lugosi here. Hell yeah! I'd be honored, sir, to be perforated by you. Oh, it's a night map. This is cool. You know what's rad? Uh, every single kill that he got in the war, neck shot. <laughs> Poland forever. And by that I mean Mother Russia, who we are a part of. Roman ops forever! And by that I mean, yeah! Six more months will do it. And then, may I say, provisional government forever! Ten months. And then, may I say, I welcome our Bolshevik overlords! <laughs> Good old oh, we're Poland. Kids, we, can fucking, we can grab the fucking trench gun! What? You know the fucking, like, actual, like, fucking mounted machine guys? We can fucking mount them, we can take them! Oh, really? Yeah, it's very good! Oh. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, because, I mean, th they're placed for reasons, but... We can fucking halo this shit? Are we still in the same company? Uh, I have truly no idea. I actually made it to this match. Uh, I, I see you over there, I think. You're running up a hill, right? No, I'm I'm in a trench. Oh shit! Oh, I'll check in a minute. I don't want to check right now because if I stop and it's select, I'll die. Uh, I see you. I see you. Back. Hey, Mike. I have an idea. Uh, Do you want to hang out in I this might... ditch for the rest of the war? Maybe I might get you. I think I need a kidney though. Oh. Well, just don't ask for a liver. Frankly, I put mine through the ringer. Hold up. Oh, I have shit. little to offer. Oh, shit, that was a Russian. <laughs> hey, but at least you got him, so you're getting better at this. You know, that's what I think. When I when I get that minus and I'm like, yeah, at least I shot the fucker. Like, I didn't miss. You Fuck you! Yeah! Bayonet killed, and I immediately died by a guy named Wargi. Wargi killed me. Dear mother, uh... I've been killed by Wargi. You know what? You know what? I like to think I'm just ahead with the curve because, like, you know what? In a couple of decades, Russians are going to kill a lot of other Russians. <laughs> oh, dude, they're going to do it in like a fucking year and a half, bro. <laughs> like, frankly, you're just getting warmed up. They excel at it. Just like, you know, the newest, you know, the current number one tracking song in Russia during this 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 point, right? Stuck in a gulag with you. <laughs> they love it. Now, early war mercant would be like, actually, no, the gulag would established in 1923. It's like, could you shut the fuck up before I send you to a gulag? <laughs> I love how this German killed Why two Russians, and then I just charged in and died as well. Why did you turn your voice into comic book guy? <laughs> because I think there's a lot of similarities between early war Mercanto and comic book guy. I mean, my interests are cooler than his, but I mean, let's face it. 
I have wasted my life. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that actually describes me now as well. It's just at least I've got a house, so I got something to show for it. But yeah, mostly I have. Bayonets! Ah, oh, damn it! I've given up on shooting. I use bayonets now. I'm charging. I'm fucking, I'm going Zulu on this shit. I'm just going in with the spear. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna kick Michael Caine's ass. Hate that asshole. Freaking love that part in Zulu when like the uh Damn it! I thought I had that shot for sure. Um where like the, the British start using their bayonets and it's like, guys, you had one advantage over the Zulu. You literally had one advantage. I would not get into a stabby contest when you're outnumbered hundred to one and they're good at stabbing. I would wouldn't do a stabbing contest. Fuck. Alright. Damn it! Okay, fine, fuck it. Ow! Who- okay, who shot me? Someone own up to it. Oh, that probably the guy man. running over my corpse. I, I just spawned back in. Called Southern Guns. Oh my god. My- I got killed by a guy called Southern Guns. Oh, god. <laughs> Damn it. The kind of guy who I would- I just mock online. Like, the kind of guy who, before playing this, ended a four-hour YouTube debate with somebody over whether or not Robert E. Lee fucked his horse. What? Southern Guns was on the no section on that argument. Well, no, we didn't, but it's like, that's how you troll neo-confederates, right? You just, like, generally, generally love traveler. <laughs> to quote Robert E. Lee, I, I have fucked this horse, and by God, I will fuck it again. Robert E. Lee. Yeah, I know. I, 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 oh, I got destroyed. That machine gun very close to me. And I was just like, herder, like just totally oblivious to its existence. All right, we got to capture some points. It'd be really cool if we... Okay, here's the thing. In a 20-on-20 20 20 game, generally speaking, I don't assume that my specific involvement is changing the outcome drastically, but I have noticed we have got our asses kicked in every match. Starting to wonder, Mike, if we are part of the problem. Oh, I'm sure we are. We should try to win at some point, if not for ourselves. Oh, what a shot! I got a headshot from that range. Hell yeah, dude. Call me a fucking sniper. Oh, fuck. Is that a German? Oh, it was, but now he doesn't have a leg. And I'm dead. And it was Southern Guns! Damn it! That <laughs> was my high point, my moment of triumph. Southern Guns is like, oh man, when I tell my sister about this, she's gonna be so excited to marry me. Fuck, killed that Yankee. I'm gonna stop. That's not fair to the South. Some Southern people are good. Okay, we can't just stay in that goddamn trench. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I mean, oh, it'd be nice right. if someone else was. Well, I was on my way, but I got that. Oh. I, I spent most of my, like, I never successfully make it to you. <laughs> Someday. I die, or I just get to you, and then you die. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I think those are Russians. Please be Russians. Please be Russians. They were Russians. I have wonderful news. Fuck! I, God, oh, I killed him. God damn I killed it! I didn't. I didn't get killed by Southern Guns. No, killed me this time. Who? Copperheaded. Seriously? Beautiful. 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 Let's just go through all the Confederate sympathizers. <laughs> just where's 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 Jeff Davis, 1998? <laughs> I'm sure this are is a coincidence, but holy crap, that's funny. Are they aware they bought the wrong game? <laughs> no, they're probably on War of Rice. They're probably killing me there, too. Luckily, there's no kill feed on that game, so I don't have to know. Though I only ever play for the Union, so I just go ahead and assume everyone who kills me is a racist. Man, why did I, ha I was thinking about this today. Why do I have to be into the American Civil War? Like, what a dumb conflict to pick to be obsessed with. Like, because I have to deal with so many fucking cranks. I mean, if I had gotten into the Thirty Year War, 
I'd be set. Who gives a shit? I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of weirdos from Bavaria who want to fill my ear about that conflict, but think about why the Gallicans were wrong. But like outside of them, who cares? <laughs> you know, it's just good old wholesome massacres. No, I had to get into the one that nobody can fucking sort out after a century and a half. I'm going to stop talking about the Civil War before we lose more viewers. Can we lose more viewers? We had two. Now we have one, so the answer is yes. Oh. We've been fluctuating around five. People are jumping in, taking a look. I think it's fun. They're probably not impressed by the fact that I literally just keep dying. Like, let's just say this isn't Ali A presents the First World War. I would love to see, like, a COD YouTuber, like, play a game like this. Oh, yeah, like, how funny that would be. This is a COD Rebecca. This, 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 this fucking game isn't a fuck, man. It don't hold your hand. But no. Your hand. Specifically doesn't hold my hand, clearly. I'm always just a little off. Like, I'm so desperate to shoot first, I'm always just- I never quite line up my shot. Like, that's where it is different from War of Rights. War of Rights, the guns are so slow, you can't do twitch shoot. Like, the only way to fight is to be in a line and to take your- either take your aim carefully or fire in volleys. You know? And I find I'm pretty good in that. Like, I'm pretty sure in, in War of Rights, if you balance it out, I think I get more kills than deaths. Like, I'm pretty good at War of Rights. But it, 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 even, even for this, it's just unique. That's why I really hope it comes out so you can actually try it on uh, on home console. Damn it. Do we even have a fucking officer, man? It doesn't seem like we're getting any fucking support. Uh, I don't think we do. Hopefully I've earned enough points to fucking... Holy Goodbye. shit, I got copper-headed from that distance. Well, you know what? We lost, but hell, I feel better about it. You know... Did we lose the battle? Yes. But I got copper-headed. From a long distance. So, for me personally, this war has been a win. So I think we're supposed to lose the battle of the perfect. Um... God, I should know this. No, I don't. I thought the car. I thought the power of the Carpathians kind of just never ended. I mean, obviously, eventually it ended. You know, probably around the time the war ended. But I, I thought that the Carpathians were never really conquered by either side. Mm. I I don't know. My Eastern Department history is so bad. Hey, I got a respectable three kills to a death. <sighs> Wonderful. Mm. All right. Three deaths to a kill. I mean, I did badly. The Baltic. Nice free. Sounds like a, sounds like a place on fucking Monopoly. Baltic <laughs> 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 <Take> Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> sir, we've lost Pennsylvania Avenue. God damn it, sir, you have to hold go. We have to hold go. <laughs> it's our best source of resources. Sir, the first division has been sent to jail. Fuck. For God's sake, what about the rental properties on the boardwalk? The Germans hold the boardwalk, sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I like these opening titles. These are some cool looking screenshots. Oh, hell yeah. Abe, yeah. hey, you just gonna like, just lick my foot for a while? Because you're extremely weird. Why do I have the weirdest dog? I don't know. I didn't ask for the weirdest one. Alright, I'm spawning I in love him. Alright. Well, uh, I'm gonna head for the first capture position. May as well just okay. get that capped. If, uh, whenever you spawn on me, I'll see you there. 55th right, no, I'm Poland! I'm, I'm, again! I'm, I'm, I'm behind you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I see you running. I'm, I'm literally right behind you. You see me just shaking that nice Polish ass? That's right. 
What I love about this one is like I don't have like so the Lee Enfield's the game I have the gun I had from the last game. I don't have a Mosin again 1891, but I have the 9130, which is like practically the same. It's kind of rad to see that in this game. The only the only difference between the two is uh, the 9130 is like a few inches shorter. I don't know why that deserved a new designation, but then I tell you this because I know that this is thing that matters a lot to you. You really like the gun stuff. Like frankly, you talk about it too much. That's why I'm telling you about it. You're welcome. No problem. I've been oh, killed. Oh, I saw you killed. By uh, by Bitcloudzer. So I guess the guy who likes Bitcoin. Awesome. It's just we're going through a rainbow coalition of people that I don't like, but they're kicking my ass. Very cool. Uh, is I anyone else trying to take the bog fortification, or is it just me? Okay, just me. Got it. That's a machine gun. No way I'm gonna get this shot. I told you I wasn't gonna get it. Fuck, that's a lot of Germans. Hell yeah, what a shot! Oh fuck, that German is right there. Fuck you! No, fuck off! You're supposed to die! No, when I shoot you, I want you to die, though. And he killed me. I had three shots on him. I had three... I, Mike, I had three shots at him. Why am I this bad at things? Because it's the first day? But they are kicking my ass! No, I just suck at these games. Like, I just... I choke. I get nervous. I have to get to a point where I'm just like, don't give a shit. Alright. Let's flank these fuckers. Wait, no, those are on our side. Let's not flank the guys on our side. This map is cool. Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool. I'm just, I can't, like, here's the thing. Just, we gotta make sure we don't hit Frodo. Like, just be careful. That was a little, little joke for you there. Oh, that's actually the Germans who control that. That's not great. Ha! Yep. <laughs> I just got shot. Right into the oh that looked funny. I got hit and I just I just 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 drop right into the water Like I was near the water got hit just just like froze and just flew into the water Oh man, all right, we should probably take that uh, Swamp overwatch uh, I'll try I mean like you know presumably we're gonna work together like I, I'm not suggesting you do it alone <laughs> I just haven't really figured, like, like I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I haven't really figured out how to, like, you know, like, regroup on the fields yet to actually, like, off. Well, you, you can, you can spawn in, right? Like, you can, you can select your spawn, yeah. so you can spawn in on your squad. Damn it! He got us both! And it's Southern Guns again! <laughs> At least I got one of them. It was such an easy kill, and it was Southern Guns. Oh. Have, you, have you killed a dude like at close range yet? It's fucking gnarly. It actually sounds juicy. I, yeah, I've obeyed and edited a guy or two. Yeah. Do we have to use the word juicy to describe it? <laughs> like imagine, about. imagine like Juicy Fruit is like it's 1950, and Juicy Fruit's like we need to have a bold new campaign strategy. <laughs> okay, we're all okay. good. People are buying enough Juicy Fruit. We need to make Juicy Fruit patriotic. All right. Uh, you know, be cool you know, if our officer gave us orders. I don't really like Juicy Fruit. To be honest, I don't. I'm not, I'm not a big dude on gum to begin with. Dude, Juicy Fruit's good. Like uh, me too. Like as far as gum goes. You know, actually, let's take a second to talk about Juicy Fruit, Mike. Our sponsor, Juicy Fruit. <laughs> Juicy fruit. The Hun hates it. One thing I always remember, uh, that baseball, uh, they, 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 they don't make it anymore for obvious reasons, man. It was like Big Chew. It's supposed to fucking mimic fucking chewing tobacco for kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, they stopped making that? <laughs> because it's supposed to be chewing tobacco. For Which kids. is horrible, but at the same time, it was fun. You got to feel more adult. I like how it looks like ground beef. And I was always confused, yeah. why did they do it that way? Now I know. Ah. But I, why do I feel more manly when I have it? 
uh, said, no, no, he I... said as he tonked off another piece while picking his nose in public and looking at his Pokemon cards. Yeah, man. I preferred the grape flavor. It was the more manly of flavors. Just for the record, I don't look at Pokemon cards anymore. Yes, he does. Don't I don't. I don't. He does. No. He totally does. Yu-Gi-Oh all the way, bitch. Fucking adult. <clears throat> Very quiet now. This is the part we'd edit out. I'm taking the uh, German wall. This is the only German wall. They made this to keep uh, the Hungarians out. Which just makes sense. So Hungary's it's not sending their best. They're sending they're sending Franz Josef. Well, we got it. Okay, glad I missed because that was a friend. Kind of sad that I missed when it was that easy a shot. Oh, fuck. Fucking take that, Pickle Helm. I know who side you're on. <laughs> fucking no, and just no, no fucking trepidation there. It's, it's, Alright, oh, might as well take the German wall. We already have the German the wall. German. Well, I'm gonna stay in the German wall. I yeah, like German I'm with wall. you. I'm. You know what I like about it? I feel like- oh shit, sorry buddy. I'm killing it and then I fucking get a team hit. Fucking just baying it now. I, ah, and there we go. Well, it kind of just all fell apart. Alright, uh, we have no viewers now on our stream. Everyone finally gave up. I might end it soon. Maybe also look for the video where I decide to strip for the internet. <laughs> really did not realize the camera was automatically on. Hey man, you're just living your best life. Not. I don't think anyone living their best life looks like that. Like a fucking... fucking... elephant seal. Just stop giving a shit. Yeah, I gotta say, it's a lot more fun to hold a position. This is wonderful. It's like people in the great war probably said, Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna stay here. I'll, I'll give this out. is this is working out you guys for the, me. You cross the field, you know. Here's the I'm thing, good. here's here's the thing. I don't wanna be that guy, but I am living my best life right now. Uh by staying here. Uh so I'm gonna just Yeah, I'm gonna chill. Uh but I good luck. You know, take care. Fuck. Fuckity fuck. How do I drop the gun? Alright. Oh, did you pick up somebody else's gun? No, 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 I just was, uh, I was on the machine gun. And I, uh, a shell hit behind me. I was like, I'd like to move. I hate to say it, but if they take another position, we are gonna have to, at some point, you know, actually go on the offensive. Take it! Oh, God, he had a sword! Damn it! I know, I, 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 I know, suggested. I know, but, like, he had one. Like, I haven't... I, I used I my bayonet. Had, I know, I but I hadn't, I hadn't sword. happened to me yet. I kind of figured a bayonet would like take care of that, and he's like, "No." You know what, bayonet versus I'm going with saber, man. Well, maybe bayonet because like, you know, the bayonet has the bullet too. So the uppers, kind of oh, bayonet, two reasons. One, bayonet better reach. That's been a rule. Better reach, just keep them at a distance, and they can't stab you or slash you. you don't Second, turn around, you if club. <laughs> yep, that, and also like again, like if you miss with the bayonet, but the barrel's in the right place, you're gonna pull the trigger, bitch. Like it'll still get the job done. Oh, it's a lot of Germans. Oh, that's so many Germans. That's more Germans than I'd like to see, which is why I'm killing. Oh God damn it! <clears throat> I got two of them. Take that as a win. It's a lot of Germans, Mike. It was less Germans than I wanted to see today. And uh, frankly, the... I wonder what the first one was like for the first guy in Belgium to be saying that. In 1914. Oh, he's like, he's just <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> like. I hope, I hope no more Germans show up. And it's like there's there's going to be more Germans. Um. There's going to be a lot more Germans. This is like I mean honestly, you're going to you're going to start wishing for this many Germans. Okay, yeah, now these guys are shouting in like Polish. The government, yeah, the government could have just reassured, you know, reassured the public like no, no. 
We're we're hosting Oktoberfest this year. Okay. So... Holy crap, that'd have been good. <laughs> Uh, I, I imagine that was the deal. It's like, all right, Leopold II, here's the thing. We have to go through Belgium. And he's like, we must save national face. All right, well, here's the deal. Say it's Oktoberfest. Okay. We're going to have the army come in for Oktoberfest. Maybe we drunkenly stumble into France. <laughs> imagine that. Like, all the fucking Germans just show up in later hosen. <laughs> And as they're as they're marching over the Belgian border, they're just changing back into their uniforms. Miles and miles of abandoned later hose and then fucking sausages. Just ream, just ream the fucking uh, <laughs> uh, Are you the Belgian the border. Observatory? Yes, I am. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to. I don't know if it's going to be successful. God damn it! There are Germans everywhere. Hey, I just got Kessel Schlock. Me too. I think I'm about to get Kessel slocked. Oh, that's going to be cool, didn't it? Yeah, me too. I mean, again, I've played it before, but it's more fun to play it on uh, console. Because already I'm doing better than I ever did online, on uh, PC. Just because... Man, you must, you must have been super bad. Well, I'm also, I'm actually doing really well this round. Also, shut the fuck up. But, uh, no, I'm actually, I'm actually doing really well this round. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, because, I mean, I'm not going to be able to keep up. It's mouse and keyboard. What's up? We're we're finally caught up to each other. <laughs> oh, we finally met. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Germans. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Germans. Yeah. Oh, I told shit. you they were Germans. God damn, reload. God damn it. We attack. finally caught up. How dare they fucking... How could the right... Did that, how could they not have fucking automatic fucking rifles by now? Like, they did. This well, they a... did. Sort of. Not rifles. Anyway. Not your point. Yeah, why can't we have those? Yeah, well, actually, according shit. to Battlefield 1, uh, in that documentary, everybody had a machine gun. Like, everyone. I don't just mean the soldiers. I mean, like, every household had a machine gun. Well, yeah, you know what? Yes, as Dice is like, look, it's the 1910s, people, all right? We're not fucking Neanderthals. Like, exactly. <laughs> this is this is 1915. I love when they're like, oh, yeah, here's an experimental, like, handheld machine gun, which literally didn't work. Like it didn't work, oh, and it was so it, yeah, and it was so expensive to manufacture. <laughs> Even if it did work, there is no way in hell they would have issued it. We're gonna give all the British troops this. Oh, it's German, by the way. Wonderful. I love how like the okay. Great War Channel eventually said, "Fuck okay, it, we yeah. just we love the exposure. We can't keep working with you people. We just can't. This is embarrassing. You're not even trying." <laughs> Some things I don't blame them for, like you know, like like, like they never said that they were going to like for like, you know, uh, uh, like I I I don't like the experimental guns, but like you know, yeah. like you know, like uh, like Ger like you know, like British and Americans having like German, what like you know, most most shooters are fucking you know, yeah. Mixed arms, but then right? don't don't so, set it in the First World War. Like I I'd almost prefer them to say fuck it we're going back to World War Two. Like if you want to make a World War Two shooter make World War Two shooter. If you're gonna make it the First World War then the producers yeah, are gonna but, have to be clear it's the First World War. So yeah, well because what's the point yeah, otherwise? No, I'm, I'm what's talking, the point? I'm talking about I'm not I'm talking about like just the the mixed arms thing. Right? Like, I think they they should have historically to the period weapons like you know but like even in 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 world war ii right like a fucking american should be running around with a fucking SPG 44 or... no <laughs> oh oh mixing up the period guns yeah. I'm, i don't know i have mixed feelings i'm kind of like i, I i'd rather no. you stick with the actual guns like if i'm playing that's british true. give me a lee enfield if i'm playing as that's the true. Uh, no, you know, saying, Germans give me I'm the carbine. Saying, playing as the French, I guess I'm fucked. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying, I, I, I do, I, I feel the same way too. I'm just saying, oh, shit, it's sorry. not really great to, like, to just hold them because most games are, are, oh, I know. are, are mixed. But yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. one difference though is oh. most games don't make, like, the, 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 big, the big deal they made it up were doing, war, they literally called themselves <laughs> Battlefield 1. They literally anachronized their yeah. own numbering system. With the excuse, we never technically had a game called Battlefield 1. Well, yeah, it's because you don't usually call the first one number one. You just give it the title. Um, but they literally anachronized their own name to make how big of a deal it was in the First World War. And then they just said, yeah, but we don't want to do anything, period. Like, a, a big marketing feature of the game. And a big, major feature of the game itself was this First World War. Except it wasn't. So if you want yeah, to do First World War, do the First World War. If you don't, then don't do First World War. What about me, man? It's like, 
You know, it didn't matter what size. Look, look, look like all the fucking uniforms were designed by Hot Topic. Oh like, god, the uniforms were even worse than the guns. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like, those are bad. Like, why the fuck? Why the? Why am I wearing a cape? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Is the Dracula DLC? Can you imagine like, that? It's this? like, it, well, sir, in an effort to increase morale, where we decided everyone should look badass. Um. These uniforms are totally impractical. Uh, you know, actually, the we we've lost an entire battalion of Welshmen who got too choked on their capes. In all fairness, they were Welshmen. We should have expected this. We shouldn't have given the Welsh capes. Oh, I could do. That's I'm too complicated for them. Like even the Americans, like when you play as the fucking uh, the, the the Harlem Hellfighters, they have fucking capes. Oh yeah, well that's the thing. That's the thing. Here's the thing. Straight up, first off, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, Wilson was a huge racist, okay? But he thought, how can I make it up to these guys? I'm going to give them kick-ass capes. I'm going to give them kick-ass capes, and I'm going to encourage them to enlist with the French. It's just like how in the American Civil War, uh, you know, um, when, when the Confederates were losing, they were like, okay, we're getting our asses kicked, but how badass would it be if we gave all of our sol soldiers uh, cut-off jeans? Yeah, and then they couldn't even get the color right. It's like, like, dude, when you're playing the Germans, like, you know, you know, like, the Germans wore what was called field gray, not mm -hmm. Confederate gray. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> like, it's like a grayish green, okay? It's not like Confederate fucking gray. Just straight gray. <laughs> Just straight gray. <laughs> Uh, there was because well, it's laziness. It's laziness. It's I think a part of it's like the costumes are. It's laziness and it's a total lack of respect for the audience. And this is a point I get to with video games. It's the big thing holding it back. No one really truly takes it seriously. Like the, the that that. Can you imagine if 1917 came out and they were dressed like that? I'd say a comparable amount of, a comparable amount of money went into both those projects. But which one took itself more seriously? Now, in all fairness to 1917, 1917 didn't have to worry about, like, getting a fucking bunch of death threats from its fan base because, like, I don't know, uh, there was too many fucking Belgians in the movie or some shit. Like, they didn't have that as a problem, right? So, this is, this is on the fans, too. Everyone's gone. Yeah. No one wants yeah, to listen like, to this. So, yeah, go on. I heard something about that. Like, you know, it's not just a... It's, is that actually true? Like, the fucking... Like, like now the fucking, like, cast of fucking Last of Us are getting, like, fucking death threats and shit? Yeah, no, yeah. We, we've gone right back to the 16th century where people are so fucking stupid, they don't grasp that these are f fictional characters. Like, people are sending Laura Bailey... And you know, I'm like, sure you don't care if I spoil Last of Us 2. Like, you don't give a shit, no, right? I'm, I'm, I don't care. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, they're like, messaging they her, she... you bitch, you killed Joel. I'm going to kill your kids. She didn't kill anyone. She yeah. plays a fictional character. And guess what else? Joel also isn't real. And yeah, neither like, is like, the Easter Bunny. Like, everyone says, you know what? Like, you know, to, to, like Troy Baker's fine. Like, he's, yeah. he's in Burbank. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's having, he's, he's very wealthy. You know what? If, you know what? You know what? If, 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 if you like Joel so much, buy his games so he gets those residual checks, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Or maybe I don't know. Just play the first Last of Us, where he's doing fine. But like, no. Yeah, they were getting actual death threats from morons who were incapable of understanding. First off, like, just just don't send death threats. Honestly, like there there are people. I I think people that I truly despise on a deeper level than these idiots can grasp because I don't despise them because of some idiotic video game. I despise them because they actually hurt people. They use their power to hurt people. Yeah. I still wouldn't send them a death threat. Yeah. I still would not send them a death threat. So just don't That's do that. True. Just don't do that. Second. And they, they, go, they go like so like, like hard for like so much that like, like, you know what, it's okay. You're, you're allowed to not like a game. It's okay. Yeah. Well, because they're infantilized, and it's really sad, and it's, it's, it's just something that's happening to my generation, and it's tragic to watch. But it's, it's this infantilization um, that, you know, where we're, we're, we're seeing, especially young men. Young women, too, but especially young men. Oh, shit. You're an ally. I am so sorry I shot at you. Um, but it, we're, we're, we're seeing, you know, this infantilization of people. And it's really sad um, to see it. 
And I, I think it's something that's being absolutely exploited in capitalism. Like, uh, the Avengers films have had a huge role in that. Right? I'm not saying they're responsible. I'm just saying that they, mm. they've certainly benefited from it and they've certainly encouraged it. Right? Um, <clears throat> and part of this is you get these very, I think, emotionally delayed, relatively unintelligent people who now are failing to distinguish between fantasy and reality. And that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. You know? Like, I hold them in contempt, but it's also heartbreaking. Also sucks that we were kicking ass in this match and we're getting destroyed now. I don't know, man. Copperhead got his shit together. Oh, man. But, Maybe uh, we'll finish that movie someday. <laughs> let's not. Uh, Come on, man. If, if, that is truly John if, man. if I'm gonna be drunk or high enough to get through that movie, I'm not gonna remember it. I don't even remember we left off when we lost it last time. I don't remember. Oh. Alright, then we gotta start from the beginning. Fuck. Okay, when do you want to watch Copperhead? Uh, just, dude, that was really being fucking serious. My shit. <laughs> Alright, let's watch it tonight. Let's go. You know what I do want to watch? Uh, I really want to watch The Last Samurai. That's very Tom Cruise. -y. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate part. Um, but I still want to watch it. Like, 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 significantly Tom Cruise. -y. There like, is a lot more Tom Cruise in it than the ideal film should have, which is, you know, less than, you know, any. But it's got Civil War muskets, and it's samurai shit, and I'm really enjoying Ghost of Tsushima, so I really want to watch Last Samurai. Kind of weird that it takes the samurai side. It's like, you guys realize the Shogun were kind of dicks, right? Like, mm -hmm. there is a reason that the peasants were just totally ready to rise up in revolution against them. They were very ready for that. <laughs> the Shogunate. Of course, not that the Imperial being much better. Took them about 70 years to sink that ship. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> fucking less than a century of dynastic rule, and you get this idiot fucking emperor is like, yeah, we should invade China, and you know, fucking bomb the United States. God damn it. What, you picked that country to piss off? The US? The only massive military power who's not in the war? Are you high? Why would you piss them off? They're gonna get your ass! The Americans only ever lost one war, and it was against themselves! And they actually won that one technically, it's just half of them lost. I'm not counting 1812. 1812 is a mess. Oh, I see some, uh, phosphorus we can run into. Nice. Before we do that, uh, I'm gonna just, I think, give them what we're playing. I'm done with the ciders. I have to pour myself some Storlishinaya vodka. Since we're fighting for the uh, Imperial Russia. The uh, Bolsheviks haven't taken over yet. They're not being paid in this yet. But Actually, that's really more post-Bolshevism kleptocracy. But you know, it was actually a point... Um, it was um, during the early years of Putin's reign, his oh, unending reign. Too. You yeah? could you could you, you could shoot more than one person with a bullet. I just killed two people with one shot. Nice. Um, <clears throat> there was actually this period. I think it was in the uh, late late aughts, where Russia, being in some, you might be surprised to hear this, but Russia was having some economic trouble. You might be surprised to hear that. They started paying teachers and other civil service workers in vodka. This is pay me in vodka. I mean, I, I wouldn't say no. As long as I'm not going to lose my house or anything for not being able to pay the mortgage. Like, okay, fuck it, pay me in vodka. As long as I as long as I have all my other needs met. Yeah, alright. I guess I got hey, an excuse man. to get totally fucking blitzed. Hey man, I've done, you know, cool like arrangements like that once. Man, I was once paid in dog grooming. No, no. That was... Buddy was so pretty. <laughs> Poor Buddy is like, I think you should not do this. She does a good job. She, you know, you know, I have to pay now because my thing's over, but she, yeah. she, she's still Buddy's regular groomer. Yeah. Well, she does a good job. She does an amazing job. We, uh, we just groom Abe at home at this point. 
Because there is a really good groomer in Owen Sound, but she's kind of fucking nuts. Yeah. And unfortunately, she, mom had like scheduled three appointments, like the same appointment three times, where she kept fucking up and forgetting. And then she called mom to schedule it again, and my mom was in a really shitty mood. She's like, we've had this conversation a couple of times now. Like, this is the time I'm free. And then she responded, you know, I, I kind of I kind of feel like I want to tell you good luck. Like, that was her response. Because I'm really busy right now. And mom's just kind of like, I guess you must be really fucking busy. You're, you know, totally willing to lose customers. <laughs> so they just, it didn't end well. But she's just, like, really unstable. Like, she's really weird. She's a great groomer, but it's just, like... Really fucking weird. Well, you guys can do it, man. I am not comfortable with my my, my, my skills at all to attempt to fucking cut buddy. <laughs> it's pretty easy. We just we just we just feed him some treats, and a Abe's pretty docile. So we just feed him some treats and just snip away at the hair. It's not perfect, but it looks fine because he's so curly. It looks fine. Like it's not a professional job. By the way, it looks so fucking rad. I got here at the end of this fight. It looks so rad to watch like three different companies attack a position at the same time. Or three different squads. That looks so cool. Yeah, well, uh, you guys did. I got here literally at the end. Like, I got here too late to help. But it looks so fucking cool watching you guys just firing and advancing. <clears throat> yeah, if we could keep pushing, we might be able to out that turn this around. But I doubt it. Uh, I just got a trophy called Anarchist. That can't be good. <laughs> ah. I got a lot of trophies that round, though. I got one or two. All right, I'm going to end the stream, I think. All right. um, I hope everyone learned something about history. What the yeah. fuck I started talking about? Yeah, kind of went on a little... As well. Yeah. Ooh, I made that one a little too strong with the vodka. Oh, man. Abraham! Ape, why are you weird? Yeah, I love you too, buddy. Well, hopefully I get back before I get kicked. I'm just gonna right. grab myself a beverage. Go for it. Okay, um, no one's watching it anyway, but I uh, hope it was fun. I'm gonna end the stream. If you watch, thanks for watching. <laughs>